Have you ever been so angry that you start to relate to those cartoon characters who have steam coming out of their ears? Or maybe you feel like your blood is boiling beneath your skin. Even though you may know what the external cause of your anger is, what's actually going on inside your body when you're angry? That's what we're gonna find out. Imagine that you are driving on a freeway and somebody suddenly cuts you off. You will most likely get angry and either honk your horn or possibly give them a not so nice hand gesture. Admit it, we've all done it before. Inside your brain, the amygdala, which responds to outside stimuli, processes the car cutting you off and coordinates the release of neurotransmitters called catecholamines. These cause you to feel a burst of energy preparing you for physical action. The hormones epinephrine and norepinephrine are also released, increasing your blood pressure. Your heart rate increases and your face may flush as the blood rushes to your extremities. If you have ever seen someone so angry that they turn red as a lobster, this is why. If you want to keep this anger at bay, you'll have to use your prefrontal cortex. You can think of this as the area that controls your judgment. And if you don't use your prefrontal cortex, you may act aggressively towards others. Take Phineas Gage as an example. In 1848, while at work, a tamping iron was shot through his left cheek and exited through the top of his head. Somehow he survived, but his frontal lobe was severely damaged. After his injury, he is said to have been fitful, irreverent, and had the animal passions of a strong man. Perhaps the damage to his frontal lobe destroyed his ability to control his behavior. He was not only a new man, but also one incapable of self-constraint. It's also important to note that constant chronic anger can greatly increase a person's chance of getting a heart disease like high blood pressure or heart attacks. Anger and the heart are very connected. This is because epinephrine and norepinephrine constrict blood vessels making your heart pump harder. These two hormones also increase the amount of glucose and fatty acids in the blood. The increased levels can lead to damage in artery walls and speed up the process of atherosclerosis. When the fatty plaque builds up in the arteries, it narrows them and decreases the flow of oxygen-rich blood to the body. This can lead to a heart attack, stroke, or death. But fear not, there are healthy ways to control your anger such as meditation, anger management therapy, exercise, or even just relaxing and doing something fun, like watching